My name is Moran from Student Aesthetics and in today's video I want to show you an upper body routine that you can do and that you can follow in the gym in order to build muscle in the upper body. An upper body lower body routine is great for stimulating muscle growth and also to build strength. Um, people usually follow this routine four times a week. So you will have two upper body sessions and two lower body sessions. Now in today's video I'm actually going to do an upper body workout that is focused on building muscle mass. It's focused on hypertrophy, muscle growth. Now usually when you do an upper body workout twice a week, the other workout should be focused more on strength. Um, so today we're going to focus more on the 8 to 12 rep range. So we're going to do around 8 to 12 reps per exercise. And then the next workout you'll focus more on doing 3 to 5 reps on certain exercises. So today it's all about muscle mass, it's all about creating hypertrophy, stimulating muscle growth. Let's get into this workout. The first exercise we're doing is for chest and it's the incline dumbbell press. Um, this exercise really enables you to focus on your upper chest. Your chest consists of two parts, the pec major and the pec minor. Now these parts are connected so it's not really possible to just hit the upper chest or just hit the lower chest. Um, but you can put a little bit more emphasis on the different muscle fibers and parts of the chest. So we're starting off with that movement um, because it's extremely important to have an upper chest. It's really what makes your physique stand out. And so for this first exercise, we're doing around 8 to 10 reps. Um, so not going too heavy. You want to make sure that you tuck in your elbows slightly. Um, so you don't want to have them flared out. All right. Um, the reason being is that you do not want to activate your shoulders too much. And you can actually put a lot of stress on your shoulders when you flare out too much. And it'll hurt you in the long run. So you can actually get injured by it. Um, and as you can see here on the bench press, I actually squeeze together my shoulder blades before I lay down on the bench. And I make sure I really drive my shoulders into the bench and make sure I keep them there throughout the movement. So you actually want to keep the whole body tight when you're doing those movements. Um, you want to plant your feet on the ground. And since we're not training for strength here, you do not want to use a lot of leg drive. Okay, um, when you're a power lifter, you actually want to lift the weight with your whole body. Okay, so when you're doing a bench press, you do not just want to activate your chest, but you want to activate the whole body. Now, that's not what we want to do here. We're training for muscle growth purposes, not for getting crazy strong. So you want to make sure that you activate the chest properly. And so after those two chest movements, um, we actually finish the chest. That's it. Okay, we're doing two exercises. Now, we're moving on to back. Um, you can also start with back. It doesn't really matter that much. For me personally, my chest is lagging a little bit and my back is really strong point. So I start off with chest. You can also start off with back if that's your uh, weak point. So whatever you prefer. Now we're starting off with pull-ups. Um, you can also start off with the rows, um, but most people cannot do a lot of pull-ups. So it's a movement you wanna start off with because a lot of people are not able to do a lot of them. Now I'm actually doing weighted pull-ups. Um, I have been doing pull-ups for years. So for me, it's, it's fairly easy to do body weight pull-ups. Um, so I add, like to add some weights to it. And if you wanna keep progressing every single workout, you have to add weights eventually. And then we're moving on to barbell rows. So also known as the bent over row. And as you see, I'm having my thumbs over the bar, so not under it. If you put your thumbs over the bar, you will activate a lot less of your forearms and biceps, and you will activate more of your back. And that's what we're gonna focus on. Um, we will do a bicep exercise later, separately for the biceps. But on this movement, we really want to focus on hitting the back muscles. So if you use an overhand grip, especially with straps like I'm doing, um, you're not getting that pump into your forearms and biceps, and it really enables you to focus on your back properly. And so then we finish the two back exercises as well. So we're moving on to shoulders. We're starting off with the seated overhead dumbbell press, and it's a great exercise to hit the front delts and also a little bit of the side delts. Um, but we're gonna isolate that a little bit later. Um, so we're gonna do around eight to 12 reps here again. Now after that, we're just doing two to three sets of side lateral raises um, because I think it's extremely important that you create a wide loop. Um, and the only reason to do that is to isolate the lateral head of your delts. Your delts has three heads. And if you do not do this exercise, it will mostly stimulate your front delts. And it's extremely important that you also hit the side delt. So we want to isolate that as well. So we're only doing th two to three sets to not create too much volume, but still hit it separately. And so then it's time to move over to arms. We're doing one exercise for triceps and one for biceps. Uh, for triceps, we're doing the incline French press. Um, so you want to go behind your head and just squeeze at the top. Now for some people, this bothers their elbows. Um, for me, I personally do not really feel it. But if you do, then you might want to skip out on this exercise. 
but I think that as long as you don't go crazy heavy on this exercise, you will be able to perform it properly and without any pain, okay? So, um, whatever you prefer. If you do not like it, then you might want to stick to a push down on a machine, for example. And so then we're moving over to the last and final exercise, which is gonna be for the biceps. Like I said, we did back, and you do activate some biceps while training back, but you still wanna train it separately, okay, to really activate them. So make sure you keep proper form here. Um, after the back workout, your biceps are pretty much fried a little bit, um, so you do not wanna go crazy heavy. You wanna go pick a light weight and do proper reps, so you do not wanna swing with your lower back and all that stuff. You just want to isolate it, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this upper body workout. And if you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. More videos coming soon. And peace out.